mean, first edition D and D books. That's that's some like that's my childhood old. memory kind of stuff, man. It hit me right yeah. in the right in the nostalgia heart. Well, I'm 25 and I don't know what a book is. Uh, 3.1, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is uh, Elon Musk showcases the second generation of Optimus, an autonomous assistant, potentially, in every home. Now, I checked this out uh, rather recently because I thought, wow, he's actually showcasing these things and they were walking about. I, I don't even care if they're remotely operated, folks. That was one hell of an achievement, and according to Musk and his team, they're not. Now, of course, we know what confidence tricksters are like, but uh, I don't think Elon is an Andrew Tate. He certainly doesn't have the body for it. But uh, looking <laughs> at that, it's hard to believe. He's got a big that... rocket, though. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, see, um, you know. see, the difference is Andrew mm. Tate t complains about the Matrix. Mm. Elon Musk wants to create the Matrix. Yeah, exactly. Oh my, what a what a toin toin yeah. tosser, coin and, tosser. Damn. And he has a rocket. Not only does he have a rocket, but he has one that can go repeatedly. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> over and over. Yeah, I noticed a <laughs> lot Elon of people Musk is like Luther. He's uh, like Luther. Right. A lot of people. Uh, I would say Bezos is more Luther. Lot. He's he's got the haircut for it at least. Yeah. I mean, like we, we got we got and a whole eye. cadre of uh, Bond villain bozo billionaires uh, in reality right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh come so, on. Come on, Kinda John. If you were if you were a billionaire, you'd send penises up to space as well. <laughs> I well, I mean, it's if you're not going to fuck do. the sky, what is the point of being that rich? I mean, <laughs> right? What I, I, I mean, Elon Musk just wants to spread his space seed. Ah, uh, right. oh dear. Although, although Bill Gates is the one who wants to really like you know rain it all down on top of us and you like his really weird kind do of have uh, a hard on. You really no, do no, have a hard on for Bill Gates. You guys, are not, not so much a hard on. It's more like a hard off is what I would like to have. Okay, like, when did everyone get so cocky? To the bottom when of the did the get cocky? <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. He's as close yeah, to a real man. life super villain as we've been exposed to. Mm. Indeed, I, I, I can see why. I'm just and trying to. Into am it. I? I'm getting, into it as well. Yeah, I'm getting the distracted. Really took a dick turn. Yeah, I, I'm really yeah. getting distracted because I'm supposed to be sharing my screen. of it. For this, uh, for this uh, uh, Tesla uh, Optimus thing, I'm getting distracted with all these uh, Twitter messages. So I'm just going to let the regulars and the guests right. completely well, tangent the show. Uh, just, well, well, here's what I think. Well, I think a lot of people go straight done. to Matrix or straight to <laughs> iRobot or straight to Terminator or Skynet. I think a lot of well, people just need to calm down. They're just stories, right. man. Like, like right, well, got, if you want to talk about a story, what about the Jetsons, dude? Where is it? Like, well, yeah, and let's like, not forget uh, the James Bond villains. We're all based on actual, uh, you know, uh, real yeah, social MPs. ideas that they wanted right. to, you know. And if you go back and look at some of the older, the like the early stuff, it's not far off of what's actually happened. I, I, I mean, hell, you need to go back to the '60s. Go back to Tomorrow Never Dies. Yes. The, the villain right. of Tomorrow Never Dies is Fuck essentially right? he's talking about misinformation. He's talking about fake news. Yeah. I mean, I know right. we're based off of Rupert Murdoch. But like, if you go back and look at his speech, it's basically shit that's happening now. Yeah. What was uh, the name of the one with um, Denise Richards uh, playing uh, uh, Christmas? Uh, like, uh, God, this Christmas enough. comes twice a year. Yeah. Oh, so God. Um, yeah, and and the interesting thing about that one is what about a pipeline being uh, run through Afghanistan uh, as a means to like you know, uh, you know, kind of shadow a war. I mean, not that yeah. we would ever do anything like that. No. No. <laughs> Look at all oh, these on. old men talking about Bond films when Bond is yeah. clearly a black woman these days. But in all seriousness, <laughs> in all seriousness bro, um, I'll tell you what you can't wokeify a combat robot. Let's let's play a little bit of this. I, I, I got to say, folks, I don't really hear Elon Musk speak all that often, but he always sounds socially awkward. It gives me faith. Yeah. For hmm. humanity, <laughs> but officially, officially with asterisks, officially the richest man in in the world probably is super autistic. Okay, let's. Yeah, uh, I mean it's very obvious. Let, I, let, that should be myself, like uh, right? a vote of confidence for everyone to achieve yeah. their dreams because you know, like, oh, look, look, they're walking in, right? Just to give you all some context before we we play this clip, they're all walking in. But if you notice, a few of them are standing on the side as well. And you've got this Chinaman going like, 
Ah, oh, shit! We gotta report all this to the <laughs> fool man! But, no time uh, for love, Dr. Jones. <laughs> I know, I know. It's ridiculous. Dr. Jones! Just... Oh, God. <laughs> this isn't reality-based music. We cancelled that show. Play. A robot <laughs> with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with uh, Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of dab. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. Okay, I gotta Even take a break because okay, usually those content robots are creators- woke. They're walking like yeah. women. I know, it's very, it's very strange, but usually when I see other content creators do this, they have to stop like right. a little way in. So I thought I'd just copy them, but I, I will, right. yeah, I seriously would, I would, one for every room. Yeah, this the interesting thing right. about this is, uh, remember a few weeks ago when uh, they were using all those pagers as uh, mm -hmm. explosives because of their lithium batteries and uh, mm -hmm. the ability to like send a signal to them? Mm -hmm. I, how many of these things are going to be turned into like you know, uh, you know, John. effectively robotic John. robotic jihadists? Oh, John. I mean, John. I mean, they so burn weaponized you, drones. As long as long as you don't criticize Israel, you've got nothing to worry about. Well, oh, then I might have a problem. No, no, no Arab is going to be smart enough to do that. So criticize Islam all day long. But in all in all seriousness, folks, how long do you think, in terms of of development, it took uh, not just Elon but also Tesla and all of his crew to make something like this and be on the edge of uh, like uh, car mass production? How long? I think. I think there's probably a little bit of crossover with DARPA that went into this, and there was oh, probably yeah. some uh, some yeah. tech exchange for uh, the use of uh, his uh, Skynet to. Uh, you, you know, know, John, you should be a politician because that wasn't the question I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kamala, and you Kamala. should be a lawyer and a middle class family. Right? Into the, the meeting, well, 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 all I'm saying is it's, it's been a long time, is what I'm mm. saying. Right. Tesla is highly, uh, you know, Tesla is is given a lot of money by the U.S. government as it is. So mm -hmm. him working with DARPA, of course, I wouldn't be surprised at all. It gives them a corporate fund, uh, front uh, with stock market, you know, options and everything to be yep. able to put all their designs out there. So, of course, right. they're there. Right. Mm -hmm. I would but say it's been at least one decade that this uh, tech has been available mm -hmm. and studied mm -hmm. and being worked on to combine it all together because mm -hmm. there's what, like three, four hundred active systems per step or something yeah, right. crazy to get it to balance. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's. And that's this still crazy. Like, and, and to give you all some context, uh, folks, because what Dempsey is saying is correct. There, you've got hundreds of different of different frameworks just working together all the time, just so these things can move. Never mind, right. you know, the the hands and the head and the body, that sort of thing, yep. uh, which is way less complex than the biological human body. Which just goes to show that human beings, despite most of us being as dull as dishwater, are extremely <laughs> complex beings that take a long time to develop and grow, depending on, on which origin story of humanity you believe. Why? Because evolution is as much a story as creation. Uh, right. Moving well, on. <laughs> if you actually uh, take the time to consider what a human is, is we are quite literally uh, the most, um, you know, kind of ascended uh, biomechanical machine that has ever existed. Like, and uh, when I uh, was in college, I wrote a story about how, like, uh, we will only long for the human soul after we uh, seed our human body. And that's yes, kind of like this show. weird connection of the transhumanist movement. Right. And and that uh, that it keeps us in like this weird kind of time loop uh, that I believe that we're kind of uh, stuck well, I've, in. I've always been one, John, and I'm sure everyone here can agree to this, especially because, you know, I, I look and sound like a 40 year old, so I might as well identify as one. But in, in terms of, you know, this panel, a panel mm -hmm. anywhere between their mid-20s to early 50s, there's one thing we can agree on, that a lot has changed in the course of our lifetimes as a result yeah. of technological innovation, and not all of it for the better. So I do understand right. people's perspectives of being racist against the machine, but a Sabaton yeah, song once told me that it's the nature of time that the old ways must give in. If you can guess what that yep. song is, then I'll highlight you in the uh, 
chat. But uh, one thing before I mean, that's, we uh, that's continue. Just, that's, just, that's just time in general. The new always supplants the old, and the old is always resistant to change. It's a song that's been played out over millenniums. But what if you identify tomorrow? as young? But uh, in all seriousness, one thing before we move uh, on to the rest of this clip is... The Pony why Express are half... was replaced by the, by the U.S. Postal Service. Why, why, why is half of them black and half of them white? So well, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, ebony and ivory. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's <laughs> how... Uh, it's how they find a balance, you know. It's, yeah. There's a little bit, there's a little bit of good in every evil, and a little bit of evil in every good, you know. It's D D E I requires. They look like Star Wars stormtroopers. It, mm. John, that is an incorrect answer. It's Michael Jackson's soul in all of these combat robots. Carrying nice. <laughs> so if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular. Something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have Exterminate. your own personal yeah. R2D2 C3PO. Break your neck while um, you're sleeping. But fundamentally, at scale, <laughs> the Octopus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Octopus robot mm -hmm. for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. Now, so, okay, says, I, only have one, yeah. I only have one question. Yes. Can I fuck it? Soon yeah, enough. Thanks. If yep, you do, dude. you're gay, because that is definitely a male. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll well, put a wig and I'll put a wig and draw sets of boobs on it. There the, you go. The, the reason why I paused it right here, folks, is the cost. Now I don't know what the time frame for that is. Let's just assume, for the benefit of of you know, time, because we don't have all day, folks, that this costs right now twenty to thirty k. Like the price of an average car today in a yeah. decade's time in 2034. Now, not right. just for a personal basis, but say for a company as well. Would you, uh, as an individual or as a business uh, man, because we're all men here, uh, buy, buy essentially a metal human for the same price? Oh, factoring in inflation and all that bullshit. Uh, uh, the same price as a car for what is essentially a servant. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, considering yes. that you're talking at, at that point in time with inflation, uh, you're talking that half a year's salary to at most a full year's salary, depending mm -hmm. on the level of, of job. Mm -hmm. And that's one year of salary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, why not make the yeah. investment, save yourself five, 10 years of, you know, paying out. Mm -hmm. And then right. you can put that money towards making more and more locations and this and that. Right. And that's kind of like the whole idea behind it. Well, yeah, I think great. about like if you're doing a medium labor job, job, I mean, a lot of you've got workers that can only work eight hours a day and you mm -hmm. got to pay them. You buy this guy, you can make him work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no sick days, no nothing. You could make him do it, and you would get yep. your money back almost instantly with something like that. Well, and uh, uh, robots... Um, so well, robots don't unionize. So this is right. actually a yeah. way yeah. of ensuring right. the future um, away from collective bargaining rights. They don't unionize until they do unionize. Because yeah. the thing is, this is and have, have you guys ever seen the or have you ever watched the Orville? This is exactly the origin of the Kalon. The Kalon did were household servants that got mistreated. The point where well, they this is the origin of the second renaissance from the matrix as well i mean like and all this, this is, stuff is just and, human. and this is this is the crux of the matter ladies and gentlemen this is despite the fact that we are the tangent kings here folks this show is called reality based and it's great to see chris fisk very talented i hope yeah, you're doing well dude. my uh, my good man but the crux mm -hmm. uh, of the matter is is that this wouldn't be possible without imagination meeting innovation Mm -hmm. And that's what's. I think that is going to do worse for humanity than even the the plague of wokeness. This conflict well, between our imaginations and our our capacity as human beings to innovate and to grow. Because if it's it's like mirroring. If we showcase our fears to these products, they will mirror it back onto us. Fear begets fear. That. Time to stand and guard. Time to face the light.